Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Coco Volley. My name is Coco and I love volleyball. So today I'm gonna give you some things that coaches look for in volleyball tryouts. Let's get right into it. varsity volleyball for a couple of years and I privately coach volleyball for about a year or so now so I'm gonna share some things that coaches generally tend to look for when they're assessing volleyball tryouts and you can take some of this stuff and apply it to when you go try out so that way you kind of know what they're looking for and what some specific things you need to address before tryouts show up Number one, they like to see those who hustle. So hustle for every ball. Don't walk to the ball after you hit it over the net. Run, run everywhere. Make sure you're hustle, 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 hustle. Because if it's between you and another girl, we want to make sure that you're the one who hustled. Or it's between you and another boy, we wanna make sure that you're the one that hustled. So hustle for every ball. Show your heart, your vigor, your will. Show how much you really, really, really want it. Number two. They do look for skill. So they are gonna look to see if you know how to serve over the net, or if you know how to pass a ball, or if you know how to get a proper serving form, if you know how to hit a ball. So I really, really, really suggest that once you know your volleyball tryout date, that you start practicing immediately, immediately. So if you find out that your tryout date is in August from right now, start practicing right now. If you find out that your tryout date is in December, try and start practicing, just start practicing right now. Because even if you are a beginner, learning a little bit of basic skill will really go a long way when deciding between you and another player. And we want it to be you, right? So that's what they're gonna be looking for. Number three good attitude. So there could be a star player who just hits everything fantastic, they serve everything fantastic, they pass everything fantastic, but they have a bad attitude. That speaks a lot because players who are hard to work with are so, it makes so, so, such a difficult time. Have a good attitude. You hit the ball in the net, that's okay, shake it off. You fall and you trip, that's okay, shake it off. You pass the ball but it goes whew, that's okay, shake it off. Be proud of yourself and be confident in yourself. And I talk about confidence all the time. Be confident in yourself because you are your number one fan and you are your number one team player. So make sure you are saying those things to yourself during the tryout that are gonna pump yourself up. I'm gonna get this serve over. I'm gonna get this serve over. I'm gonna get this serve over. This serve is all me. Or I'm gonna pass this ball. This ball is all mine, I'm gonna pass it. Make sure you're giving yourself those positive affirmations. That way you, it gets into your mind that you really believe it because you're great, guys. You right there, you're great. Believe it. Number four, coachability. Coachability means that somebody that, even if they're a beginner, I see, I see something special in them. I see prospects in them. I see that they could be a great player. They just need somebody to teach them. I want coachability. I don't want somebody when I say, hey, your passing form's a little off. Oh, I know, I got it, I can, I can, I can take care of it. Instead say, hey, your passing form's a little bit off. Oh, thanks, can you show me, can you show me a little bit what you're talking about? Coachability, number five, team player. So I know sometimes in volleyball, we end up feeling down on ourselves and down with other people. So don't worry too much about that. Just be a team player. So when somebody else serves a ball in the net, say, hey, you got it. Be encouraging. Be the person that is both cheerful and positive. Be the person that goes on the court and says, hey, Stacy, you got it. Next time, next time. Good serves, good serves. Be the person with, because you never know, they might need that encouragement. And if it comes from you, that's great. That's great. We always need somebody that's patting us on the back, even when we're patting ourselves on the back. So make sure you do that for someone else and do it for you too. Let's say you're trying not to be a front row player. 
some of the things that you need to really, really, really focus on is you need to focus on being able to hit the ball, being able to transition off the net to hit the ball, and being able to block. Really look at how to transition off the net, how to transition into a spike, and how to transition from a block to a block and different kinds of blocks. I would really look at that if I were a front row player. If I were a setter, I would make sure to look at my accuracy where I'm setting, look at my setter's hands to make sure I'm not doubling the ball, and work on my back set. And make sure you work on setting off balls, balls that come out kind of wonky. So look at some of those skills before the tryout. If you want to be the volleyball team manager, you want to make sure that you have organizational skills, that you are confident, and you can be a really good assistant to the coach because they'll be leaning on you on how to do the rule book, the score book, and stuff like that. And if you guys want me to teach you how to do the score book, I would be more than happy to show you how to do that. If I am a back row player, let's say you're trying out for a libero or a DS, or you're just a general back row player, I would make sure to look at my passing accuracy to make sure it gets to the target. I would make sure that I'm looking at my passing form to make sure it's correct, work on my overhand passing, and I will work on my speed. I will work on making sure I have that good agility to go ahead and get the ball and calling the ball. So make sure to do that. So you can do some of those workouts at home. I hope that you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.